This is Ashley Gupta and welcome to my basic Garba tutorial. Navratri is one of my favorite festivals and every year I try to dance at least one night to get all my Garba energy out. In this basic tutorial, I'll be teaching you five basic moves with some variations which you can mix and match, create your own combination and dance it out with your friends. And by any chance, if you end up making a video of it, don't forget to tag us at polyred.dance. And while you're here learning these basic moves, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get regular updates. So now, without wasting any more time, let's begin. So we're gonna start the basic tutorial with our very favorite and the very first basic move, Ek Tali. As the name suggests, it means one clap. Let's begin with footwork. The count goes one, two, three, four and right leg goes forward and back, left stays in place. So let's begin. Right forward, left in place, right back. Left in place, right forward, left in place, right back, left in place. I'm going to show it sideways so you can just know how it goes. Six, seven, go forward, in place, back, in place, forward, in place, back, in place. Now, level two, we're going to add a little swing with our hips going forward and back as we move. Let's go, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Level three, we're gonna add our arms. The arms swing up, drop down, swing up, drop down. Where the clap comes in. When we go forward and up on one, the clap comes and then swing back. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connecting it with footwork, let's go. Six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, three, five, seven. Lovely. Now I'm gonna try and do the sideways so that you get the profile view. Six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The technical detail I would like to tell you is like, keep your steps moving. Always keep stepping your right and left. Don't skip a movement if it's happening in place. You have to step. Again, add a little swing to your body don't be shy if you want to drop down go lower with your back go for it because it's just gonna add an extra element to your move so now we need to move to teen tali because the footwork is the same it's just the arm movements and the upper body movement which changes in teen tali teen tali as the name suggests is three claps so now where does the clap comes in clap to the right clap to the left clap down when I'm clapping to my right, my right is in and my left is out. I switch left in, right out, come center and release your clap down. So right, left, down and right, left, down. I'm also adding a little torso swing with my arms. My torso swings to right, left, low, right, left, drop. Six, seven, just the upper body. Five, six, seven, go one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Three claps, well done. Now footwork. We're gonna start with keeping the footwork same as our ektali, which goes one, two, three, four. Okay, now with the clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. To add a little essence to it, what we're gonna do, in place of going right in front with our right leg, we're gonna place it slightly diagonal to the left. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clap, clap, drop, don't forget that. Ready, six, seven, go, one, Two, hey, five, six, hey, one, two, hey, and five, six, hey. 
Fantastic! Now we are going to demonstrate these two moves together and my very good friend, my team member Preeti will be accompanying me with it. which means two clap. The footwork similar but now we move diagonal forward and diagonal back. The basic stepping is step tap which goes step tap step tap step tap seven eight. When I say that we are moving forward and back diagonally that means the first two steps are gonna go forward but hitting the diagonals right and left. Let's go one tap two tap three tap four tap every time i am giving an angle to my body when i'm going forward with my right leg diagonal my body is framed to left one two three four five six seven eight one more time keeping your footwork plain don't add any hop just keep it simple six seven and one two three four five six seven eight now what we need to do we need to add a little bounce that means every time you step and tap you're gonna drop a little with your knees bending six seven one tap two tap three tap four tap level two add a little hip swing six seven so let your step be led by your hip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try everything together. Let's go. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Now the arms. The clap happens on we have when we reach one, two, left diagonal back. Two left back diagonal. So every time we are finishing on left, that's when we clap. So keeping it simple, we're gonna have our arms gentle cup. You can touch your. You can have your fingers in a clicking position. You can click, and you can just place them over there. You're gonna cross them to begin with. Cross and clap. Cross and clap. Cross and clap. Seven. Eight, six, seven. Go slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. No hopping, nothing yet. Just plain simple swing to your move. Now, we're going to have a little variation to our arm movements. We're going to make it bigger and loud. We're going to add a little swing. So when I'm stepping to my right, both my arms swing to right. My left hand finishes at my shoulder, right shoulder level, and right hand swings up. At all given point of time, my elbows are bent. So we don't want straight arms. We are not hitting points over here. We are making it soft and flowy. When we want to hit anything on right, we have to start on left. That is our preparation. So the swing starts from left. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Footwork variation. You can go low, swing up, low, swing up. We can literally go crazy with this move when you're dancing on the dance floor on a fast music. Six, seven. Let's try it. Don't worry about stepping forward and back. We're just going to go side pace to begin with. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's hit the corners. Six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget your smile. Now, quickly, let's watch 
the demo of these two moves. Now, it is, the footwork is similar to Dotali, the travel is similar to Dotali, but the footwork is triple step. That is my name, it might change as per person to person. So, right leg going out, one, and left leg coming in, but in a tap, a partial weight transfer and drop. Similar to the left, step, shift the weight, Bring your right in, partial weight transfer, and drop. Six, seven, one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. In this, the hop is going down. So my movement is to drop down. Five, six, seven, one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Now, let's hit the points with this footwork. Six, seven. Right diagonal. Left forward. Right back. And left back. Ready? Six, seven. And one and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven. One more. One and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Fantastic. Now, a little variation in our arms too. So we're going to start in the very basic position. Crossed arms, cup fingers, roll down, roll clap. Drum and clap. Swing down and clap. Swing down and roll clap. Six, seven, slow. One and two. Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. As it's totally, our clap still remains at the left diagonal and right and left back diagonal. Let's try this again. Six, seven, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and three and five and seven, eight. Moving to the second arm variation. The footwork remains the same, but the arm movements change. And that's one of my favorite movements. So think, just the upper body movement. Right goes down, left goes up. Let's assume that we are trying to make a S. We are making this S with our hands, always bend in your elbow. Six, seven, one, three, five, seven and we also arch our bodies in the direction we are moving so when i'm hopping to the right my upper my torso drops to the right and then to the left six seven let's go to the side to side one and two three and four five and six seven and eight now hitting the diagonal points let's go six seven one and two three and four five and six one more time one and three and five and seven eight fantastic now let's see how it goes on music Dotali with the turn. Two claps with the turn. Fantastic. Now the footwork gets a little tricky over here. Left count one. One step left, push your right out. Bring your right in, left out. And now four count turn to your left. Five, six, seven, eight. Finishing on right, one begins on left. Let's go again. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't lock your knees at any point, always have a micro bend. When we are dropping on left, the knee bends, the other knee is extended, point your toe, bring it in and do the same and go for the turn. Now the arms. Remember the roll arms from our previous move? Exactly. So we're going to do a roll clap. One, two. Clap happens on two. Three, four. You're going to swing your right arm and bring it up. Similar to our previous move. Swing A. My right swings up, left just comes in. Now when I'm turning, I do my second clap. Boom. Roll, get your, bring your momentum in while you're clapping. Six, seven, clap, and then left hand goes up. Six, seven, just the upper body with no footwork. Clap on your left. Right swings up. Turn and left finish. Clap, right swing, turn, left finish up. All right, slowly with the footwork. Six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and one, three, five, and seven. Go one, three, five, and seven. Get going. My favorite step. It involves a travel and it looks fabulous when you have your flared skirt. So now let's begin. I'm going to tease the footwork. It's very much similar to our triple step, but we change the direction in this. So now to begin with, I'm going to keep it flat so we get to learn the step and then we will see how it moves when we actually dance it out. Right leg goes forward, right and two, left and two. Right forward, left back, six, seven. Right and two, left and two. If I show it to you sideways, six, seven, and right and two, left and two, right and two, left and two. As I said, we change a little direction in this. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna dance it on sideways so you can see what exactly happens. My turning starts on count two. So one is kind of preparation for my turn around. So I'm going to step my one a little diagonal. One. Ready? My body is ready to turn. I'm going to face the other way. On two. And two. Face 180 degree shift. Three and four. But my left leg goes back. Three and four. And I'm ready again to go six seven right and two left and two right and two left and two right and two left last one right and two left and two fantastic now basic arm swing drop swing drop that is eight tali so you're swinging when your right leg travels forward and swing back when you step your left. Six, seven, and one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. When you do this in flow, it looks like, looks like this. Six, seven, and one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Normally, we do this step inside, so when, you're, when we are in a circle, we travel in and out, or you play it in a couple. So how does it go if we are standing in a circle and we are all facing inside the circle? 
We're gonna come forward, six, seven. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Are you ready to see how this move goes on music? Let's go. basic tutorial keep an eye because soon there will be an advanced tutorial coming in and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you bye